And hey everybody, I just got a little video we're gonna do. Got some mail, so I'll show you what we got. It's all the way from China, you know. The land of whatever you could imagine. I ordered some touch-up brushes. These are actually for beauty shops for doing makeup for people, so. We're gonna check these out and see what they're all about. I think they're a hundred for two or three dollars with free shipping, so. Good deal. They actually came pretty quick. I was surprised at how fast they showed up in the mail. It's got a little Ziploc bag. Oh, I always suck at opening these things. Oh, well, you know what? It actually opened. So the handle side is up. Yeah, it's just a plastic brush with a bit of shit on the end. Like foam or something. So we're going to try them out, uh, even if they don't work here, I can use them at work for doing dabs of uh, touch up paint on cars, so it's a win-win situation. We're going to check these out here in a second, and I've got this to show you too. Let's take a look. I'll, st I'll start with this since you guys have seen it before. It's just some of that rust powder, but I made a lot more of it, more than I really need. And I ended up with quite a bit of this. Uh, now, the way it looks, it's like a light brown. So I could probably use it for rust if I want to mix it with some water or pigments. I can darken it. I could probably lighten it if I mix it with some white. Uh, right now, it looks just like dirt. So I could crush it up a bit. Maybe just leave it like it is. I could put it on the wheels. I could put it on tank tracks or on a road. Just to make it look like a road surface or dirt. I still got that little bag of it there. This stuff's not quite as light as that. This is quite dark. See, that's the stuff I made first. This is the second batch. I used more water than anything in this batch, so that could be the reason. I'm just gonna dump this all in. No reason to keep it in the bag now. Probably should have kept them separated, but whatever. We're going to move on to the brushes there now, so I just want to dab a bit of paint on them and see how they work. Anyway, that's made with steel wool, water, vinegar for this one too, and a bit of salt in this one, but this one was just salt and water with about a teaspoon or two of vinegar. That wasn't enough vinegar to really make a difference, so yeah, I'll have to do a video trying this out on something later. And as far as these go, we're going to check and see how good they work on some paint. I just want to take something and see how I've got this Mustang door card. I'll just put some paint on here. Switches, so we'll see how that works. I'll just try it with some Tamiya black paint. Something that will come off easier than... I can just wipe it off if I mess it up a bit. me I'll just use it out of the cap these things sure do suck up the paint pretty good at least Let's see if we can get any on there might be hard to tell it actually went on fairly well I'm surprised Uh, the door handle's done, but it's kind of hard to tell in that camera, so, you know, you could even, you might even be able to paint with these. Yeah, the top's going black anyway, so I figured I'd try it with black, so. And that puts it on pretty well. I'd be tempted to actually paint the whole thing with that, you know. But I'm going to spray bomb this black. I did paint this white underneath, but you'll see what happened in my next video of the Mustang after the one that's coming today, Friday. I'll show you how I did that. I'm going to mask it off for just a two-tone. This will be behind the dash, so it won't really matter. The top will be black and the bottom. I was going for more of a burgundy color, but this red dried a little dark. I might have to put a light inside the Mustang as a dome light just to get the light in there to make it look good. Anyway, that's all we've got for this time. I'll just say it's a mail call. 
I've got a couple more things coming, airbrush goodies, uh, and I'll have to, I'll be getting a new compressor sometime soon, one with a tank, so I'll do an update on that as well when they come in. Uh, thanks for watching this one. I'll have to give a better opinion here sometime later of what these are like and if they're worth it. You can get these on eBay, like I said. Uh, I think I paid 2 or $3 for these ones, but there's a lot of different ones. I think you can get different size tips on them too. So it's worth checking out, I'd say. Thanks for watching, guys.